A woman came in with a really cool Japanese matchlock rifle. I know this thing's worth money, but I have no idea how much. So I called in my buddy Sean to help me figure this thing out. Hey, Rick, how are you? How's it going? Hey, I'm Sean. Myra, nice to meet you. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Do you mind? Please. Oh, yeah. It feels a good 40 pounds. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, this is, this is impressive. Yeah. You know, you don't see something like this every day. When do you think this was made? 1700s, 1800s? Just the form of it, I'm gonna say between 1750 and about 1800. It's a design that actually originated from the Portuguese. This was a huge game changer for the battle tactics for all of Japan because the samurai, their weapons were blades. I mean, this is a true piece of history. When the guns came into play, it changed everything. You would have your samurai forces but you could also bring in local farmers and train them how to fire these weapons. Now they weren't the samurai, they were just another faction of their military unit. It was like a defensive gun they used back then, right? Oh yeah, you, you wouldn't be running around you know, with this yeah. thing. This is a wall gun that would be on a defensive line. Those guys weren't going anywhere. And I wanna see what the... You know, you would think it would even have a, a bigger caliber, considering how big this thing is. Yeah. But, you know, you could actually utilize this for a longer range, because this barrel has a tremendous amount of meat around it. So, what's it worth? Because this is a wall gun, there's very few of these around. Easily, three to 6,000. You know, it's a big spread, but that's, that's where it's gonna fall. This is a hole filler. Okay. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. There's actually quite a large collector base for this type of a weapon, but this in particular is very desirable because it's a wall gun. They just didn't make a whole lot of them. So this is gonna be much more desirable, and I think Rick is really smart to buy it. I'm thinking I'll give you like two grand for it. It's a fair price. Yeah, he said you can get 6,000 for it. No, he said I can get between three and $6,000 for it, depending on the market. The 6,000 is sort of la-la land, but it can't happen, it's happened to me before. And then again, I might put it in an auction and I'll get three grand and by the time I pay the auction fees and everything else, I make nothing. Can you do at least 35? No, I mean, because I would not make any money that way. Well, he said, it's rare, there's not a lot of wall guns. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $2,200. It's, it's the, and that's gonna be my, my final price, it really is. How much did you say? I said $2,200. You didn't say $25? No, I said $2,200. <laughs> okay. Deal, $2,200. I'll meet you right over there, we'll do some paperwork, and I'll get a strong young employee to pick this up. <laughs> okay, All right. thank you. <laughs> Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.